Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my new Cardfight Vanguard Zero video. Uh, I'm basically just gonna go over the new Grand Blue event. It's the first event in the uh, global Cardfight Vanguard Zero. It's the first event it's had. Sorry, I can't talk today. But yeah, I'm basically just gonna do a quick overview of the event and a little guide, and also showing you what you can pull in the packs because i'm gonna i've got like 17 packs to open and yeah i'll just talk about the clan in general if you're new to vanguard and just curious so grand blue is essentially made up of like ghosts vampires undead pirates and zombies and they're a really cool clan which um zero has just introduced and you basically get the tickets for the event through character fight which is just in here i'll just go into it so you can see if you're new so basically you can do whoever you want and um you can like do whatever fight you want and for some of the rewards you now get um grand blue tickets while the event's on and essentially you can go to this part here the clan event section and you can fight goki and there's like a little mini story you can do but i've done all of the challenges so that's pretty good i've been drinking some um um fizzy drinks sorry I, I really can't talk today for some reason yeah i'm drinking some fizzy drinks and i've got a little bit of um yeah gas i think <laughs> so yeah i apologize if anything comes of that but um yeah i'm really enjoying card type vanguard zero it's so fun i love vanguard i hope you guys are liking it too but um yeah i'm, I'm really awkward today i just can't talk properly <laughs> but i'm gonna basically just show you what you can get through the packs so let's go to the gacha and I'm going to do the maximum for 10 packs. You can do 10 packs at a time. And I'll do the rest of the packs in this video. So hopefully we get lucky. And we can get some triple rares. I think the odds for this are. Each pack. From what I've heard from other content creators. It's about a 10% chance per pack to get a triple rare. Which is really good. Normally it's like 1% or something crazy. So um, it's a really good chance. But basically the way to max out this event is to essentially just do all your character fights and don't waste any stamina or as little as you can. And as long as you're consistent in playing the game, you'll basically get all the stuff you need. And against Goki, you basically just want to um, basically just keep fighting him until you win. It's not too difficult. You could make a deck which uses a lot of critical triggers and just heals, so crits and heals. And you should beat Goki if you put it on autoplay. But I personally do all the fights by hand. It can be a little tedious if you keep getting destroyed. But um, it happens. But I'm very determined. So I always do my best. But anyway, I'm going to start opening these packs now. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, before I do, make sure to like the video if you enjoy these gameplay videos. And um, type hashtag zero in the comments below for Cardfight Vanguard Zero. And I'd really appreciate it. And also type hashtag first if you're part of the notification squad. So yeah, thank you so much. And let's get into these packs, shall we? Okay, so the pack animation looks so cool in this game. Okay, so we got the yellow, which means we're at least going to get a double rare. So that was Monster Frank and Child Frank. We're going to get a lot of duplicates in this because the clans just came out and it's like a limited card pool. But hopefully we get some of the really cool rares. Grand Blue is really cool. Like aesthetically it's really awesome. Their play style is essentially um, bringing back cards from the drop zone. Or like the graveyard if you've played Yu-Gi-Oh before. And you basically keep bringing them back from the grave. And um, as Goki says in the anime, pirates may die but they're never gone forever. So yeah, they just keep coming back. And um, they're really powerful in that respect. Because um, you don't have to always use cards in your hand to bring them back so it's really cool but yeah we've got some really cool cards here i like dancing cut i like dancing cutlass in the franks oh we just got a um special animation i'm sorry my voice kind of did something weird then i couldn't speak properly <laughs> but yeah let's keep going so this is pretty good and oh whoa we got a ruined shade that's a triple rare that's really cool and we got a special glossy rare, I think, there. We're getting pretty lucky so far. This is really cool. I'm enjoying this. Let me know if you guys are enjoying Vanguard Zero if you started playing recently. 
yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would leave a like, because um, my computer is really slow and it takes me a long time to render these videos with the gameplay and the backdrop and everything. So um, yeah, thank you if you do. But regardless, I hope you guys are enjoying. But let's keep opening the pack and see what we get. So, so far, pretty standard stuff. I think we got Commodore Blue Blood, which is the 10,001, the grade 2. And let's just keep going. So, nothing here. We got, like, um, some pretty cool looking units, though. When I say there's nothing here, it's just, like, it's generally rare and commons. We're trying to look for the double rares or the triple rares. And if we're extremely lucky, maybe an SP, but I don't think I've got one of those yet. Oh, I think we just got um, Bazkirk, which is um, the main unit for this deck, so that's really awesome. That's wonderful. Oh, and Captain Nightmist. Oh gosh, we got... I think we got a double and a triple rare in the same pack. That's so good. Oh, I'm super happy now. We're doing really good. Oh, we got the ghosty double rare as well. <laughs> this is so good. Really fun. I love Vanguard Zero so much. Where we got a glossy um common, that was cool. This is going really well so far. Oh, we got another Bazkirk. That's great. We want four of those guys ideally. So that's amazing. So yeah, we got um We have Ruin Shade as the triple rare. Which is really cool. And then um we got Captain Nightmist. He's a really good unit which can bring himself back from the drop zone by counter blasting and um, sacrificing another unit on the field. So that's really good. And then there's Bazkirk. He's really good. He basically becomes a 12k attacker on your turn, which means he can attack basically any vanguard without a boost, which is really good. And then he has a really good soul blast, which isn't quite, um, you don't get to do it too much, but it's still really good when you get it off. It's like a game winning play. And then we got Choppy the Ghosty, who's really cute. His effect is, when this unit is placed, put any card from your deck into the drop zone. So that's incredibly useful. You basically get to choose the best card in your deck to send to the drop zone and just do it. So that's really good. So yeah, let's open the last seven packs and see what we get. Yeah, let me know if you guys are liking Vanguard Zero. If you want any more like tutorials or you have any questions, make sure to let me know and I can help you out. And I might make a few more videos, like, explaining the game and stuff. I'm talking a lot again, but, um, it's because I'm excited. I'm really liking this. So, oh, we got the double rare thing again. That's really good. So nothing that great in that pack, but, um, you're going to have packs where you don't get hits. So that's really good. We got another Baz Kirk. I think the, um... Fizzy drinks having a go at me. I, I needed to like burp, but I didn't want to do it on the mic. I apologize. I'm really unorganized today, but I thought I'd do something like fun for you guys. And this new event's new, so I thought it'd be something fun to watch and pack openings are cool. But yeah, we got two Bazkirks in the same pack, so that's amazing. We've already got a place set of Bazkirks, so that's amazing. Grand Blue's a lot of fun. Oh, we got the Ghosty again. That's good. So all of the double and triple rares, we really want four of each, but we haven't got any of the perfect cards yet. You get one of them through the quests, and then the rest of them you have to pull on packs. But yeah, this is really good. Let's keep going. Monster Frank again. Oh, it's the cool ship, the grade two. It has restraint, which means essentially it has a restriction on it, but if you call it from the graveyard slash drop zone... It loses restraint and it's really powerful as a grade 2. So that's really good. Yeah, I think my voice is a little funny today for some reason. I just noticed I sound a bit, um, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop um, rambling because I have a bad habit of just rambling. So <laughs> yeah, let's continue. Hopefully we get at least one more hit. That would be nice. So, last pack of Destiny. Let's see what we got. Yay, we got the Ghosty. That's good. Oh, that was brilliant. We got another hit before the video ended. So, we got four Bazkirks now. And two of the cute Ghosty. The Ghosty Pirate, Choppy. 
Yo ho ho, I will take you along to Hal. That's not exactly the most friendly thing, is it? His flavour text, that. I think Dancing Cutlass is cool as well. I like all the ground blue cards, they're sweet. And if you're wondering why these cards are like fading in and out, it means I've already got four of them and you can only have a maximum of four cards of the same type in this game and then they get transferred into materials you can use to craft other cards. So if we get a lot of that it's good because we can basically craft the other cards we, we're missing. So it's always good regardless of what you pull. So that's really cool. And that's a new card. Dragon Undead Skull Dragon. That's a really powerful card to bring back from the drop zone because um, it becomes a 13k attacker on your turn. So that's really impressive. But yeah, I think um, I'll probably finish the video up here. The only thing I will mention is um, now that the event's open, if you participate in it, you'll actually be able to unlock Goki, the person who plays Grand Blue as a playable character. And you can like make a Grand Blue deck now. And you have to play as Goki, so that's really cool. My baby Misaki there. That's cool. I got some missions here. Let's see what I unlocked. So we got 150 different types of cards. So that's good. And we collected 10 Grand Blue cards. So that's amazing. And we also got the um, collect 5 different Grand Blue cards and we got a pack. So that's pretty sweet. Oh wow, we're getting a load of packs for um, collecting the Grand Blue stuff. That's really cool. That makes me really happy. But yeah, I'll quickly um, just show you. You go to the deck building. And um, you go to create a new deck and then Goki will be available. I've already made a slot for Goki. But before I did any of the packs, because this is the first time I've opened the packs. So now I have enough cards to start making my Grand Blue deck. So yeah, that's really cool. But I might just quickly open these um, extra three packs on camera while um, I'm still recording. But um, yeah, um, I'm sorry if I'm talking loads again. I tend to do that a lot when I'm kind of recording. Because I, I love doing the videos, but I get nervous sometimes. So I either clam up or I just talk loads. So talking a lot is better than talking less, I think. But yeah, let's open these three packs and see what we get. Oh cool, we got enough tickets to get an extra pack, so we've got four packs here. But yeah, make sure to like if you like Vanguard Zero, like the video. That would be cool. And um, yeah, please check out Vanguard Zero, it's really good. Oh, we got a double rare thing. So that's sweet, we got a pool of some kind. This isn't the Grand Blue event, by the way, if you're curious. It's just regular packs for the four base clans of the game so far in the first set so let's see what else we got oh we got a special um triple rare thing that's really cool nice oh we got i got my last um assault i believe it's my last one and i got cosmo lord the triple ref and nova grappler that's really cool nice i would have preferred ceo armaterasu but i won't complain a triple rare is great regardless. Oh, that was brilliant. So we got another triple rare. So this is a perfect guard for Royal Paladin. Very good. And then finally, Cosmo Lord. Which is really cool. But yeah, I'm going to probably stop recording the gameplay now. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this if you got on this far. I really appreciate it. You're absolutely awesome. Make sure to like the video subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications for whenever I make a new video. I'm probably wrapping it up now because it's nearly 15 minutes long this video so yeah I just want to save you guys this time a little bit but thank you so much for stopping by and yeah type hashtag zero in the comment section below for Vanguard Zero and if you enjoyed this video comment on other things you want me to react to and games you want me to play on the phone or mobile and yeah, also, if you're curious about Vanguard, feel free to ask me any question in the comments, or if you want me to make a video tutorial um, for Vanguard Zero, I'd be happy to do that. And I want to thank Bushy Road for making Vanguard Zero, and they also put like a template for video creators for Vanguard Zero, that's how I got this really cool background. So um, go to Cardfight Vanguard's official channel and give them some love and tell them I sent you, and I'll leave a link to their channel in the description, and please check out Vanguard Zero, because it's really awesome. But um... Yeah, but more importantly, have an absolutely lovely day. I'll see you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.